Hey guys, I'm Tara. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to answer the question, is yoga really that good for you? So we're going to go over what yoga is kind of all about and the benefits of yoga. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button below and we will get into this video. So I want to start by saying there is not one set way to practice yoga. Yoga has a lot of different aspects and a lot of different ways that you can go about your practice. So there's not one path that you have to go down to go down the path of yoga or to practice yoga. So I know in our modern culture, especially in the West here, that we think of yoga as vinyasa practice. So this is the type of yoga where you're kind of seeing them flow through different movements, doing standing poses, balance poses, starting to do crazier things, headstands, handstands. That's part of vinyasa yoga. So that is actually not where yoga originated from. Vinyasa yoga came about in way more recent years. The origins of yoga that are dating back like thousands of years actually was quite different. So yoga was more about meditation. Yoga was about a way of life and a way of living. And there was different types of yoga that you would practice that would help you achieve the state of enlightenment. So that's the origins of yoga. I still, I'm not hating on vinyasa. I practice vinyasa. I teach vinyasa classes. I love vinyasa personally, but I just want to let people know that that is not the origins of yoga and that if that's something that you're like, not really into, then it doesn't mean you can't practice yoga because that's actually a newer aspect of yoga. If you do enjoy practicing vinyasa, it is good at getting into that yoga mindset because some people have an easier time working with movements to get into more of that, that type of mindset than just sitting and meditating. So I know sometimes on a day if I'm having like trouble if I want to meditate but I just can't get into that meditative state. If I do a vinyasa practice first, it's way easier for me to get into that mindset. So there is a place for the vinyasa yoga. And in vinyasa yoga, the different poses that we do do have a deeper meaning. So if we actually like tap into it, we're trying to like change our inner mindset as well. So say we're doing like a warrior pose, we're trying in that warrior pose, if you actually think about it, we're trying to like dive into our inner warrior. When we do tree pose, we're trying to take on the aspects of say a tree. We're trying to keep ourselves rooted down while being still able to grow. So if you want to take your vinyasa practice to the next level, then you can kind of think about these things as you practice. Yoga's true goal is to lead us toward enlightenment. So yoga is trying to kind of open our mindsets, broaden our mind. Yoga means union in, I think if you translate it from Sanskrit, it translates to English as union. So yoga is trying to get us to see everything as one in the universe. It's trying to get us to live with love and compassion and go about our lives led from our hearts. So that's really the true meaning of yoga. In my mind, if we're going back to the original question, is yoga really good for you? If more people are living with kindness and compassion and, and trying to live with love in their hearts, I couldn't say that could ever be a bad thing, that that would only have a positive impact on you as a person and on our world as a whole. Another reason why yoga is really great for you is that it does help decrease stress. So yoga itself isn't going to take away stress that you're experiencing in your, in your life in the external type world, but it does, it changes how you approach things and it changes your mindset so that you are able to maybe take things that might have stressed you in the past, maybe they don't bother you now, or you take things that you know still do currently cause you stress, but you interact with it differently, 
deal with it differently, and then it's not giving you that heightened stress level that you might have felt in the past. So it's really, yoga, it's really about changing our mindset. So we have our physical practice, and the physical practice, practice helps us get to this enlightened and changed mindset, but really the mindset is, in my opinion, what is really the great thing about yoga. I personally also do weightlifting in addition to yoga, but the nice thing about yoga is that you are also getting physical benefits. So we do need to take care of our bodies from a physical standpoint to be in a better mindset. So if you think about it, if you're you know, eating bad or not exercising, you might be in more of a negative mindset and then you're interacting with your life from this negative mindset. So maybe you're not you know, achieving the things that you want to or you're not as present in your relationships. If we take care of our physical body, so we're eating healthy, we're exercising, which if we do a vinyasa practice as our yoga practice, that counts as exercise. That helps us start to elevate our mindset and then it helps us interact with our lives in more of a positive way. So maybe we can be more present in our relationships or maybe we don't get so angry so fast and that helps our relationships. We're more motivated at work to get the things that we want to get done to achieve our goals. So really mindset is everything in this life. So what we think in our minds is what we are putting out into the universe and if we are putting positive thoughts and positive emotions out into the universe, that's what we get back. If we're putting negative thoughts and emotions out, then we tend to get negative things back. So changing your mindset's not easy. It takes constant practice, which is why with yoga, you need to show up consistently. You can't just practice yoga once a week. You can't just practice yoga once in a while, you know, this month. One day you're feeling really stressed, let me do a yoga practice and then you don't come back to your mat for another month. Because then maybe you'll feel good after that practice, but you're not going to see like those long lasting benefits. So I'm giving you this advice from personal experience. So I have always loved yoga. I have practiced yoga probably for about like 10 years, but I've would say for maybe, so I would say only in the last year that I've been really consistent. So say the first nine years of me practicing yoga was, okay, sometimes I was practicing a few times a week and I was consistent with that and then I would fall off and then I would, you know, come back to it, but I was, ne I was never like consistently practicing. And I liked yoga because I did feel good in my mind after that class, but it wasn't lasting and I liked the physical benefits from it. I would say for the past year, I have been, and since I've been a yoga teacher, I've been more consistent with my practice, and now I really can see the benefits. So I practice every day, and when I say practice, it doesn't mean that you need to be doing a vinyasa, intense power yoga every day. So for me, I meditate every day, and that at least will count as my yoga practice. And then... I usually will do, say, some other type of practice, vinyasa, kundalini, every other day, and then I do weight training in between that. But I am meditating every day. So even if I sat for five minutes and meditated, or if I laid down for shavasana for five minutes, that counts as your yoga practice. It doesn't have to be the physical aspect. Really, the meditation is actually going to get you to that yoga state of mind probably faster than the physical practice anyway. So keep that in mind if you're trying to be more consistent with your yoga practice, that it doesn't have to be so daunting and scary and time-consuming that it can be a quick five-minute thing that you do. But back to my story, since I've been consistent with my yoga practice, I have seen an incredible change in my mindset, which has kind of put me on the path that I am on today. And it's really just so incredible that I want to share it with you guys and let you know that it is possible. I won't go into too much detail in my backstory, but I had a lot of trouble with overthinking, um, feeling like I had no control over my mind, and it really had a negative impact on my life. 
And now that I've been consistent with my yoga practice, it's really the thing that I've done that I have noticed the biggest change in myself. And I think people around me also notice the change. So, I mean, that's nice because it gives you, I guess, the confirmation that what you're doing is actually working. But true yoga is really going within and working on you and working on connecting to something greater than you. And I think that that can really just have such a beautiful impact on your life. So I definitely have also seen the benefits myself personally. And it's still a working, work in progress, work in process, work in progress. What's the word? <laughs> anyway, um, I'm still working on it. So it's not like I feel perfect every single day. I have days where I do, you know, of course, slip back into old patterns, but the more you practice, and I find the more I practice, the less often that I am slipping back into these old type of patterns. So I think in this modern day that we have so much stress going on in our lives. I think everyone has stress. And I think that yoga is really just such a beautiful way to just connect with yourself, look within for what you need to work on, and also such a beautiful way to connect with the universe and start to just appreciate everything around you. Yoga helps us start to see the world differently. So by helping us get into this enlightened type mindset, we start to interact with the world through a different lens. So we're seeing the world differently. And what I mean by that is we start to just notice things that maybe we wouldn't have noticed before, um, or we start to appreciate things that maybe in the past we just didn't appreciate or didn't actually think about. So, I hope this answers your question that yes, yoga is actually really good for you. It's really good for dealing with a variety of issues that you could be dealing with from stress to injuries to, you know, dealing with some mental health issues. It really can help with so many things that we deal with in our lives. So I hope that this video inspired you to, if you have never tried yoga before, to try it out. If you were someone who was back and forth to yoga, to maybe be a little bit more consistent. But I hope that you guys have gotten a positive impact from this video. I do have yoga flows on my YouTube channel. It's growing as we go. So I do have more vinyasa type practices um, for intermediate level and beginner level right now. I hopefully will have some meditations coming out in the future that I can have on my channel as well for you guys to meditate. But like I said, find what works for you. I do actually also have a free resource of seven days to see kind of what yoga is all about. So that's on my website and you can put your email in and then you'll get sent seven videos. So that's really a good way to kind of see what you like about yoga. But that's all I have for you guys today. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button below and I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Bye guys.